Welcome everyone to my show where I'm going to be making four Instant Pot summer side dishes. All right, I've got you covered for the summer. We've got barbecues coming up, picnics coming up. Maybe you just want to make a side in your house, but you don't want to heat it all up. Okay, quick and easy in the Instant Pot. It's going to be delicious too. So if you're ready, let me show you how it's done. All right, everybody, I'm getting ready to show you how to make potato salad using your Instant Pot, all right? Now, I'm using these lovely baby golden potatoes here. I love these. So I just cut these into bite-sized pieces. We're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish these potatoes, and then I'm gonna go on to the next step. All right, so I've finished cutting up my potatoes. I have about three pounds here, but you can go lower than this or you can go more than this. Just make sure that you keep in mind your fill line inside your pan here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and add all of my potatoes into my Instant Pot. Now, we want to flavor our potatoes as they're cooking, right? So I'm going to add some salt into it. Give those potatoes a little flavor. Now, I'm going to fill up with water until it just covers the potatoes, just like that. Perfect. In my potato salad, I like to put diced hard boiled eggs into it. And if you like that and you want that in yours, then I'm gonna be using some regular eggs here. I'm gonna be placing them in the Instant Pot on top of the potatoes. And they're gonna cook and become hard boiled eggs along with the potatoes being cooked. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on. Lock it into place. Now on the back of the unit, you have your knob and you wanna make sure that it is on sealing. This will keep all the steam inside. All right, on the front of the unit, I'm gonna go ahead now and press the pressure cooker button here. And then I'm going to, it's gonna be on high pressure for five minutes. So I'm gonna take the time down. So now it is okay, it's on, which means it's gonna build up pressure and then it's gonna count down the five minutes and then I'm gonna do a natural release for five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so my natural release is now complete. I'm gonna go ahead now and hit the cancel button so it can stop cooking. On the back of the unit, I'm going to push the knob from sealing to venting. All right, y'all, all the steam has been released. The pin on the back of the unit has popped down, so now it is safe to remove the lid. And just remember when you release it, to release it away from you. Because no facials today. <laughs> now I have my eggs in here, and what I have is a bowl of ice water. So now the eggs cooked for five minutes, then they were their natural release for five minutes. Now they're gonna go into some ice water for five minutes for the eggs and that will fully cook them. So there's my egg and there we go, just like that. All right, so our potatoes are nice and cooked. I've got a fork going all the way through them and they still have their nice shape. What I'm gonna do is drain these now and put them into my serving bowl that I'm gonna be using for my potato salad. All right, so while my potatoes are draining and cooling off just a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and make my mixture for the potato salad. Now, I've got about two cups of mayonnaise here, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that in here. One diced celery and half of a diced onion. Now, you can use any color onion you want, or if you don't want them in there, it's your potato salad. So that's gonna go in. All right, my eggs that I pulled out, now I've diced four eggs here. Well, kind of just rough chopped them and they're going to go in. I've saved two of my eggs to use at the end to put as a garnish on top of the potato salad. I'm going to sprinkle some salt in. Now don't put too much salt because remember we salted the potatoes while they were cooking in the Instant Pot. So I've got some pepper here. Now I use a relish so I'm using a sweet relish here or you can just dice up some pickles if you want. Or you don't have to put any in, <laughs> it's up to you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and give this a mix. Okay, that's looking really good there. Nice big pieces of everything in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Mmm, 
Okay, that tastes delicious. All right, we're going to bring the potatoes over here and put them in here and give it a nice mix. Just kind of, again, fold your potatoes into your mixture here. Okay, y'all, that is looking really good. Right there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with my eggs. Now, I just sliced these. These are the two extra that I kept back. Now, I like to give it a good little shaking of some paprika. All right, y'all, what do you think? I got my fork ready. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Lots of flavor in there, y'all. And being that it's still warm, oh my gosh, the crunch of the celery and the onion. And I can taste the sweetness of that relish that went in there. Mmm, so good. All right, y'all. My potato salad in the Instant Pot. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs by cooking our eggs in the Instant Pot using the 3-5 rule. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to want your trivet. Now this is the little trivet that came with your Instant Pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the inside of here. I'm going to add one cup of water. And then I'm just going to place my eggs on top of the trivet here, all on top of each other, all right? You know, it depends on how many you want to use. I'm going to be using about eight eggs today, and that will make 16 deviled eggs. All right. All right, we've got them all in there. That's it, y'all. Now we're going to go ahead and put our lid on it. All right, we're going to lock it in place. Now there's a knob on the back of it. And we're going to move it to sealing. That will keep all of the steam inside of the unit. All right, y'all. So the three, five rule is the first five is we're going to cook these for five minutes. The second five is we're going to do a natural release for five minutes. And then the third five is we're going to dunk them into ice cold water after they come out of the unit for five minutes. All right, so I'm going to come to my unit here. I'm going to push pressure cooker, high pressure, five minutes. Now it's going to come up to pressure, and then it's going to count down for five minutes, the natural release, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm at my five-minute natural release mark. I'm going to go ahead on the back of the unit. I'm going to switch my knob from sealing to venting. All right, y'all, my pin has dropped on the back of the unit. I'm going to go ahead now and release my lid. And remember, we want to open it facing away from us. We don't want all that steam in our face. It's hot enough in this summer. All right, so now I'm going to take my eggs that are in here and I'm going to put them in a ice bath here for about five minutes. Very carefully. There we go. I'm going to check my time. All right, we're going to give a five minute countdown and then we're going to be able to peel the eggs. All right, y'all, as you can see, I've started cracking my egg shells and releasing the shell, and I'm going to tell y'all how easy this is, honestly. Just give it a light little crack there, and it just peels right off. There we go. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to do is cut my eggs lengthwise, evenly. All right, the yolk just came off in there. Put my yolks into a bowl here. All right, so I've got my yolks in the bowl here. I'm going to go ahead now and use a fork and just mash these up. All right, we've got a nice mix there. We're going to go ahead now and add. Now, I have one celery stalk that I've diced up really fine. I'm going to add that because I just like the little crunch in my deviled eggs. All right, so I'm going to add some salt because we're going to season right now, but we're going to go back after we get it all mixed up and see if we need anything else after we mix it up. All right, so I got salt and pepper went in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise. Now I'm looking to put about, um, start with a quarter of a cup. Now I'm just eyeballing this. And then I'm going to add some 
Dijon mustard here, just a little bit, like a little teaspoon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and give this a mix. Put it along really good here. I'm gonna go ahead now and give it a taste and make sure that it's salted enough or seasoned enough. Mmm, perfect. Mmm, all right. I can taste that little zing from the mustard. Oh, yeah, tastes good. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead now and load up our, our eggs. All right, now I'm just loading these up with just a spoonful of the mixture. The last final step that I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some paprika on them because it just makes them pretty, right? All right, y'all, what do you think? My deviled eggs in the Instant Pot. I'm going to go ahead and try one for you. All right, <laughs> try this one for you, right? What y'all think? Mmm. Mmm, that is so good. All right, the camera person's getting the, the other bite. <laughs> All right, y'all, saw how easy that was using the 3-5 rule. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started making our country green beans with potatoes and bacon in the Instant Pot. All right, so the ingredients that we're gonna to need to make our country style green beans with potatoes and bacon are green beans. I have fresh green beans here that I've washed off and I've snipped off the ends. I've got some baby potatoes here that I've washed off and I've just chopped into bite-sized pieces. I've got some bacon. Now I've got about six pieces here and what I did was I just chopped them up and they're all still kind of together. Got half of an onion diced. Got some minced garlic, some chicken broth, and salt and pepper. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our Instant Pot onto saute mode because we're gonna start cooking our bacon. And all you want in there is just the pot that the Instant Pot comes with. All right, so our pan is hot inside. We're gonna go ahead now and place our bacon inside there and let it start crisping up. Now this will take about three to four minutes. I'm gonna let it kind of sit there and get kind of brown on the bottom and then start flipping it over and then breaking it apart. That way all the bacon doesn't get stuck in the pan there. All right, so our bacon is almost crisped up now. We're gonna go ahead and add our diced onion. and our garlic. And then we're gonna go ahead and just cook this down until the onions are transparent and our bacon is completely crisp. That's what we're looking at. We got our onions are nice and transparent and our bacon is nice and cooked. What we're gonna do is add 3 quarters cup of chicken broth. Now what you want to do is take your flat edge, now I'm using a wooden spoon flat edge here, and just scrape up the bottom of your pan here and get up all those little bits. I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to add my green beans and my potatoes. We're going to turn off the saute function. All right, we're going to go ahead now and add some salt and pepper to it. And remember, you got potatoes and beans in there that need to be seasoned. Got my pepper. All right, we're going to give this a mix. All right, we're going to put our lid on it. Lock it in place. The knob on the back of the unit, we're going to make sure that it is on ceiling. So on the front of the unit, we're going to go ahead and hit the pressure cooker button for five minutes. Let it come up to pressure. Then it's going to do a countdown for five minutes. And then we are going to do a quick release. All right, y'all, the five minutes are up on our Instant Pot. We're going to go ahead and do a quick release and let all the steam out of the unit. All right, so the pin has dropped on the back of the unit. So we're going to go ahead and open up our unit, open up the lid away from you. Look at that. Can y'all see that? 
Okay, y'all. Check it out. Let's go in and let's see just how tender everything turned out. The bean, which is the main attraction of this dish right here. I'm going to try that. Mmm. Okay. Very tender. Flavorful. Wow. And the flavors come out in there. Mmm. Let's try a potato. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. Very nice and soft. Oh my gosh. Very flavorful with the chicken broth, the salt, the pepper, the bacon, and the little bits of onion that are in there. All right, y'all. This is a win. My country style green beans with potatoes and bacon. All right, everyone, I'm going to be making my macaroni and cheese, my favorite summer side dish in my Instant Pot. I'm going to go ahead and show you all of our ingredients that we're going to need and keep it simple, easy, and delicious for you. All right, so I have two and a half cups of uncooked pasta. I've got one third cup of heavy cream, one third cup of regular milk, got one cup of some chicken broth, got three tablespoons of butter, some salt, pepper, I've got two cups of water, and then we have two cups of grated cheese. Now I just freshly grated this cheese. This is a sharp cheddar cheese. All right, y'all, let's get started putting this together. All right, so inside of our Instant Pot, we're gonna go ahead and add our two and a half cups of uncooked elbow pasta. So I kind of have a mixture of um, elbow pasta and baby elbow pasta here, so anything will work. To that, I'm going to add my chicken broth, two cups of water, our three tablespoons of butter, salt, some pepper. All right, we're just going to give that a little mix. All right. We'll put our lid on it and lock it into place. All right, now on the back of the unit back here, there's a knob and you want to make sure that it is on sealing. All right, on the front of the unit, we're going to go ahead and push pressure cooker. We're going to take it down to four minutes. All right, y'all, so it's going to come up to pressure now and then it's going to count down to four minutes and then we'll be right back after we do a fast release. All right, so our pin has dropped in the back of the unit, so we're going to go ahead now and release the lid. And we're going to pull it off away from us. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to go ahead and stir that up. That cooked really good. I'm going to go ahead now and add my milk, my heavy cream, and my shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Now you can use any cheese, okay? All right, I'm gonna use a towel to hold my bowl here and then just mix this all up together. Oh, it smells so good in there. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mm. All right, y'all, I got my bowl ready. I got some fresh parsley that I'm just gonna sprinkle around. Because you know, we always have to make it look pretty, right? There we go. Simple, easy macaroni and cheese in our Instant Pot, ready for the summer. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious, y'all. You saw how fast that came together? That cheddar cheese in there. I usually use other blends of cheeses also in my macaroni and cheese, but I wanted to use a simple one that people normally have. And that sharp cheddar cheese really comes through and makes a very delicious creamy macaroni and cheese. All right, y'all, there we go. Thanks everyone for coming to my show for Instant Pot summer side dishes, ready for your barbecues, your grill outs, or just making them at home without using your stove or boiling a lot of water. All right, so make sure you give me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. And also check out my Instant Pot playlist that I have right next to me. All right, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.